Hey YouTube, this is Everything Epan here, and today I'm going to be doing a video tutorial on how to install Citrix WinFrame in VirtualBox for VMware. Um, I guess it was kind of owned by Citrix and Microsoft. I don't know. It was called Citrix WinFrame, but the title is going to say just how to install WinFrame in VirtualBox for VMware. But um, this is how to install it. Um, WinFrame. Uh, it looks. It's basically. Windows 3.1 or like a look-alike of it. I don't know what you would call it. Last time I said look-alike, they'll be like, oh yeah, the operating system was fake. I don't know. It's a look-alike of Windows 3.1. It's a lot like it. Um, you'll see once you install it. So we're just going to go ahead and get straight into the tutorial. So you're going to need to create a new virtual machine. And I'm just going to call it WinFrame. Go ahead and choose other Windows 32-bit and hit next. Um, RAM at 512 hit next now it does not it will not go um, to 20 gigs so we'll just make this let's just say 2 gigs oops we'll make it 2 gigs create hit settings system or not system uh, storage then uh, you need to add the floppy controller then you're gonna click the add and click choose disk you're going to uh, go to the uh, boot floppies that'll be included with the um, ISO and click OK and then go ahead and click start so it's going to start up the uh, setup and now it's going to ask you to put in disk number two already so go ahead and do that. Put in number two. Click enter. Then click enter on welcome to setup page. Click enter to do the express setup. And now it's going to ask you to do um, this number three. Oops. So go ahead and insert this number three and hit enter. Now it's going to load the CD ROM drivers and hopefully. Um, you guys will see that it will find one for you and that's going to be needed there it is it found it uh, it's going to be needed to put in the uh, WinFrame ISO so um, once that's finished it's going to uh, say that it recognized the uh, CD-ROM drive go ahead and hit enter to continue and then go ahead and hit C to continue the setup and then go ahead and hit enter to install here and format it as an NTFS file system then hit enter. Now it's going to ask you to put in the CD-ROM. So what you want to do is um, remove the floppy disk and then insert the uh, WinFrame ISO. There it is right here. Click open and click enter. It's going to do an a examine your disk and then it's going to copy the files to the hard disk. Go and hit enter now to uh, restart your computer. Make sure the floppy disks are out. Leave the ISO in. Go ahead and enter to continue the setup. So there on the top it says Citrix one frame, but I'll just call it one frame in the title. And here uh, you see the backgrounds like Windows 95 setup. Um, so now you got to type in a name. Click enter and then continue. Um, go ahead and hit no on this and then I'll just call this win frame. Hit next or, or continue and hit continue again and make sure your language is correct and hit continue. Click cancel on the uh, printer setup then click OK. Click continue 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 and now it's going to install WinFrame so this could take some time so just let it sit for a little bit and I'll be back with you guys once it's finished okay so once it's done like copying files or installing files or whatever um, click no on dial in support and then now it's going to configure networking um, then we want to do is um, you can enable automatic DCH um, DHCP configuration, just hit yes on this and then click OK. 
and then it's going to start the network. And then it's going to ask for the work group or domain, just leave it whatever and hit OK. And it's going to uh, ask for an administrative password in which you do not have to do, go ahead and hit OK. But you do have to do a username for this. And then uh, click continue. And then uh, go ahead and click OK to leave the uh, password blank. Um, and then choose your time zone, hit OK. Click OK here, and then click OK right there. Click on yes, and then continue. Then you just gotta wait a bit. It's going to save your configuration. Then it's going to ask to uh, create an emergency repair disk. Go ahead and hit no on that. And now it's successfully installed. So you want to go ahead and remove the ISO by clicking remove and then click restart computer. And then go ahead and hit enter to load uh, WinFrame. And this is version 1.8, if you did not know. Uh, build 403, service pack 5B. Just to let you know. And then it's going to do just so you, show you some things about your um, hard drive, I guess. And then it's going to do, uh, do a converting of the file system. It's going to restart and hit enter to uh, load it up again. And then um, it's going to um, load. There it is, Citrix WinFrame. So it's basically the extension to the NT server. And then it's going to say press control alt delete. So what you want to do is hit input keyboard insert control alt delete and then type in your username hit enter or type in your password or whatever and then um, there it is there is a win frame right there so um, there you go guys that's how to install a win frame in VirtualBox or VMware thank you guys for watching um, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed um, share the video as well um, comment ideas down below please and don't forget to subscribe. Um, once again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.